I'm just arguing, man. I, that, that's lame. You that's always find a there. reason to try and argue for something. Yes, actually. It fucking annoyed the lawyer clause all the time. God, seriously, stop that. <laughs> Just because you're an agent of chaos and love to cause problems just because you're bored doesn't mean everybody else wants to be a part of that. He had fun with it. <laughs> but that's him. This is me. I don't like it. It's annoying. Stop it. Well, you hung out with me for almost 10 years in this <laughs> Why am I still... <laughs> So I'm been looking for a new co-host. Anybody? Any takers? Any takers? Please. <laughs> just, pan, <laughs> just pan. Just pan to me, looking like Keanu Reeves at the balcony, just smoking, all uh, just all tired. Yeah, it's like the entire time. Just me, just at the balcony, just like Keanu, Reeves, just smoking. <laughs> Just looking there, just smoking. Just see a jack o lantern image in the background, just laughing, like, oh, I'm so tired of this guy. <laughs> just so tired of this guy. Well, yeah, no, uh, well, I let that one girl stand, but lawyer falls? Like, oh my god, it was like, it was the best thing ever. Fucking, like, he was a lawyer and a fucking professional Santa Claus. Yeah. Hey, this man just lets it cause problems for no reason. See, now I know a game you can play and you'll just have fun. Untitled Goose Game. Yeah, I see where you're going with that, I really do. Oh, oh really? Where am I going with that? Oh, you know, just agent of chaos. Like, oh, I'm gonna fucking honk at you, steal your hat, and fucking run around, and fuck shit up. Mm -hmm. I'm just literally the tagline for people just how they do this game is you just see the goose like I'm just gonna cause problems for everyone today. I just see that as Doss's face. Do you actually like really wanna know what my relaxation game is? <sighs> if it's an H game, just skip it. Just skip it all together. No, no, it actually was not an H game, it's just something else. <sighs> yeah, it's a game you play one handed. What's the game, Doss? Oh, uh... Dynasty Warriors 4? Jesus Christ, that is... Back there, man! <laughs> I mean, it's just, there's something therapeutic about just fucking cutting down fucking swaths of fucking people. I mean... Sure. Okay. Like, it's not about the... It's not about the chaos, it's about the culling. <laughs> so what you're saying is that's just here to cause problems for everybody. If you like to read it that way. That's how I'm literally seeing it. Like, oh sir, this this guy with his jack o' head is just attacking us out of nowhere. For what? I don't know. What does he want? I don't know! He didn't say! He didn't say anything, actually. He just laughed. He just, he's just laughing as he's just attacking us. So, this guy's just invading our kingdom. How many people are there? Just one guy. One guy? <laughs> I just pictured Doss. He's just causing all sorts of general destruction just entering this one town on the principal alone that they probably did they they probably didn't like what he was doing in their bar they tried to throw him out of then Doss did a thing that's literally oh, here's how I was paying this out Doss did a thing the end yeah but that's that's your like go to for everything Doss did a thing and then everything got destroyed the end that's that's how I write my reports for, for towards Renee. So what happened? Doc said a thing. Are you fucking unfairness, girl? <laughs> Doc did a thing. The end. Uh, I bet. I guess it kind of brings us up to fucking Trigon. Back back around to Trigon. Hey. Hello, are you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, that's literally how I write reports to Renee. Like, so, what happened to Doss did a thing. The end. 
I bet you they have a shortcut on their computer for when DOS does a thing. Control F U. I was thinking more along the lines of like, you um, know, it's probably com <laughs> Control F me because at that point, it's like, if we're, we're, if we're calling out DOS, it's like, you know. We're, we're basically getting to the point where it's like, yeah, we, we don't care what it takes, including collateral. Oh, there's- so, like, yeah, and let there be a new person. Like, God, there was so much collateral damage! What happened? Well, I was partnering up with Dust. Okay, say no more, control F me, uh-huh, and done. <laughs> Report's done, alright, back to base. <laughs> but, but what about the collateral? The report's done. Back to base. But does the report <laughs> the report the back to base? The collateral, the less I have to report. <laughs> like that's an you must be new here. Yes, I just started this week. Ah, okay, yeah. All right, yeah. Just picture everyone. <laughs> then, then every like just let everybody in the base like, oh, it's new recruit. They're working with us. They're not saying a damn thing. He's going to learn. <laughs> They're going to learn today. Well, all right, so getting back on topic slightly. Um, Try on Stampede. Mm -hmm. New trailer dropped. Mm -hmm. This is, I believe, trailer 2, as they're referring to it. Mm -hmm. And it's leaning even more to the idea of a reimagining, remaster kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Like, it's, it's obviously not going off the original material because certain things already look like they've been changed. Ex excluding visuals. Excluding visuals. I'm not even talking like just visuals. Like visuals was the first and obvious one, but they've like changed characters and they're they seem to be omitting characters. Underline scene on this. Yeah, because we just kind of got here. Your next challenger you know. is team so like um, again, not just going off visual. Although I can, I have a whole thing for the fucking visuals too. Mm-hmm. Um. Wolfwood is no longer a priest. He was shown off in the last trailer. He is now an undertaker. Which, honestly, that kind of fits his character a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But, is like, that is a direct change in his perspective from the original anime run. Not only that, the manga as well. So that's a direct part of what he was. Uh, Meryl is finally shown off. So that the insurance girls are coming back in a questionable sense? So, so far we've only confirmed Meryl. There is no Millie. That we know as of yet. Uh, we know as of yet, which is kind of the confusing part to me. Because Meryl only works because of Millie. Screw that up. Like you're going at two sides of the yin and yang, and you just you just chopped off the yang. But there seems to be a male presence there. I'm not. Sh I believe they said his name in the fucking thing, but it's like you paid very not... little attention to that because you don't know who the fuck this guy is. Well, I think it's supposed to be like her the boss, editor in chief, yeah, her boss or something along those lines. Because mm -hmm. like, Meryl is not an insurance girl anymore; she's a reporter. I mean, she, in from what I've watched the original run through it, she kind of was doing a little bit of both. Oh, I'd love to hear this. Yeah, okay, no, no, because she was doing a little bit of both. I'm not saying she was a reporter. She's like, she was also reporting and doing like the insurance thing with it. Like, she was doing oh, yeah, a little bit of both. Was. Yeah. Well, yeah, but this is brought out more in Badlands Rumble, honestly. Like, her insurance stuff, like, really doesn't take off too much, like, in both the manga or the anime. You really see it in Badlands Rumble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, uh, movie that they did. Right. Which, you know, they brought back all the fucking characters, they brought back all the voice talent, and all fucking clothes. I mean, other than... Being questionable in the timeline, that's that's probably the fucking biggest gripe people had about it. Yeah, and with Trigun, it's... Timeline is a... Well, I wouldn't say questionable. It's a bit... All... A bit chaotic, I wouldn't say. A, a bit chaotic. Is the best way to that. Yeah, eh, eh, that's probably a good word. But anyway, um... So, if we're going off the idea that she's a reporter and not an insurance girl, it really doesn't change a lot about her fucking character. 
It, except maybe motivation. So, like, in the original anime and manga runs, um, Meryl was out of her way to sit there and fucking, like, scream yell at Bash to basically not try to cause a bunch of damage. Well, Which, I see the parallels there. Saying. Mm. <laughs> Which made sense in the canonization of what they're talking about, kind of thing. It's like, you know. She was part of an insurance agency. She didn't want to fucking have to sit there and report. It's like, oh yeah, Vash fucked this up, kind of thing. Because they would be on the hook to fucking repay it. Uh, with this new canonization, where it's like, she might be a reporter, kind of thing, or is a reporter, as far as Kuro is concerned. Um, that puts her at not so much of a crux between her and Vash, in the sense where it's like, oh, well, it's like, I'm just here to report a story. It's like, I don't care about the collateral at this point. Which is, it's yeah. an interesting divergence. I'll give it that. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows the color of her eyes. There are there are many things about this fucking thing. It's like a lot of the moral and visual nature is like you know changes the redesign and stuff like that. Like they redesigned Bash, and I've already gone over that a little bit. Yeah, you you've you've had your uh, you've had your bitching moment of that. Well, I I just feel they're missing the point, and I guess that's the biggest takeaway from it all. Mm -hmm. Uh, they redesigned Wolfwood to a small degree. I mean, there's not um, really he, much change about his outfit. Uh, yes and no. His undersuit changed, his top suit did not. Like I said, it was so like, like, it, him it, didn't have, like, much of a change there. Yeah, well, again, like, he's not as poorly dressed as he was. And that that is kind of a key difference. And I just realized opinion. I'm using a rush down against a grappler. I am fucked. I partly fucking think you're gonna be fucked from this whole equation. So. Uh, it's like, I just realized at the very end, like, Shermie's a grappler, Rock's rush down, like, I'm fucked here. Yeah, but you also have two characters on deck, and she's almost dead. True. Hardly think you're fucked here. <laughs> oh, and, and your fucking Damn it. <laughs> number two lineup has range? Oh, fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. You can shut up now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, because Rock's Rushdown. Uh, grappler beats Rushdown. Range beats Grappler. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like how Tank anyway. beats Tank beats Rushdown. Uh, D Rushdown beats DPS. DPS beats Tank. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving forward. Um, we'll put that beat down a little bit. Like, it's underclothing, fucking wrestling, like a formal piece. Uh, formal undercurrent. To like something closer to akin to a T, which I'm not against the idea of a T-shirt, but it's like you know if if he's holding himself to the same rigid regard that he did in the original anime and manga, then it's like that doesn't make sense. But if he's not, then that would probably incorporate into design, which much more like you know lackluster, for lack of a better term, but it's like cool and calm. Mellow. I guess mellow is another good word for that one. Yeah, it seems like he's out for blood for whatever reason. Well, like, there's not a lot of something really going on about that. There's... One of the ones that I took away from the second trailer was, is like, are you with us, Bash? And kind of thing. And that's kind of an interesting parallel that they never really got into, both in the anime or manga, that, you know... Bash is not really a fucking equate to society. He's a he's a beacon for society, but he's not really a part of that. Right. Cause they more or less treat Vash like, oh, he's a thing that's causing problems in society versus he's a part of us. Thus the well, human yeah, typhoon yeah. and all that jazz. Well, that's not really like going with that. Be like, that's not even beacon for society. It's like, uh, uh, Vash actually fucking uh, capsulizes like a big majority of like, you know, the human impulses kind of thing. There's like, you know, we try to do the best and the, and the worst situation given kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's in a very cynical look on life. It's like, you know, you can sit there and reinterpret, like, you know, the standard people singing Vash. It's like, Oh, well, you did a bad thing, and you must be a bad person to covet. But realistically, it's like, you know, it's the outside looking in compared to the person who had to make the hard choices. 
Like how people they like how so essentially they're blaming him because he had to make the uh, hard choices and they're just rating him the bad guy. Yeah, because it's easier to fucking ask for a pound of flesh than forgiveness. Yeah, okay. That Don't doesn't sound that doesn't sound like society at all. We live in a society, Das. <laughs> Well, I mean, one of the biggest fucking, like, tropes of here lately has been, it's like, oh, back in, what was it, 86 Batman? Uh, Keaton Batman? Mm. It was like, oh, we threw Joker to a, a bat of fucking, uh, chemicals. chemicals. Yeah. And then fucking, what, 20, 30 years later, fucking, it's like, oh, we threw Joker to society, and this is what came out. How many more times must they rewrite uh, specific stories instead of just kind of adding shit to it? How many more times must I see Uncle Ben die, Doss? Uh, how many times the multiverse gets re-kicked? God, one too many times. Leave Uncle Ben alone! This man has been getting shot in the same spot forever. I still kind of defend fucking, you know, Garfield fucking whole thing. Fucking, I, I really do think fucking Garfield actually was a fucking fairly decent, like, Spider-Man. Yeah. He got shit on a lot more than he deserved. Yeah. Cause he, cause at least he put in, well, I won't say, you know, like, the other Spider-Man weren't putting in their effort at the time, but I can't blame the actors, I usually just right, blame the so script. Let's take it down. Okay. So you have, you have Toby and you have Garfield, and this is up until, uh, Tom. Mm-hmm. And you can't really include Tom on this because, like, everybody compared uh, Andrew to Toby. And I think the fact is, like, you know, Andrew came from a different angle than Toby did is basically why so many people have problems with that. Now, I'm not counting the story. The story has its own issues, but that's its own fucking problems. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm legitimately just talking about Spider-Man and how they approach it. Yeah, because um, with Toby's story, uh, there was more time spent on wait killing the villains, not actually trying to reform them, which is more or less all of Spider-Man. Uh, the Spider-Man's motif, and for Andrew, they were killing people, killing more or less his um, friends and allies before even remotely trying to, in the process of trying to actually capture and reform villains. Then the new kid. Alright, so here's where the kind Tom, of comes yeah, into it. Yeah, yeah. So with Toby. So Toby, you get kind of the thing where it's like he's a nerd who became a superhero. Mm -hmm. And with Andrew, you get more of the aspect of where he's a superhero who's also a nerd. Yeah. And that's a very big distinction. And I think that's what a lot of people kind of hang up. <laughs> like, you know, like this is the argument between the two. And it's like, you know, which do you prefer? Like, and you I can see aspects of both that work. Like, honestly, I think fucking Toby makes a better Peter Parker compared to Andrew's representation of it. However, I'd argue fucking Andrew's Spider-Man is better. Yeah, okay, yeah. And then Tom, he more or less has the best of both ends of that spectrum there. Uh, he's more balanced. I would argue it's like, honestly, I think fucking Andrew even fucking out Spider-Man fucking, uh... Tom. Tom. But that's... That's in his own universe kind of thing. Right. It's like, unlike the other two Spider-Mans, they've actually got a chance to do the Avenger thing, the multiverse thing, and... Well, Tom, Tom gets kind of an unfair man, because we get to more, yeah. more explore Tom's character, because he's in the MCU, and he's fucking part of, like, this entire fucking line. Yeah, this entire and, chain of events, and as everything's going along. Right. And, fun fact, fucking Andrew would have been Tom. Yeah, he. Yeah, he would have been in his place if, if, uh, Sony didn't do a thing. Actually, no. It actually had less to do with that. Huh. Uh, fucking apparently, Andrew had like some other commitment that day and couldn't make the interview. Oh, well. So they're like, oh well, fuck it. We'll just recast him. Oh well, okay then. 
And I, I got this from, like, internet sources, so take that for what you will, blah, 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 that kind of thing. A heap of lies, because the internet always lies, Nas. There are no truths on the internet. All the guys are guys, all the girls are guys, and all the children are federal agents. Yeah. But yeah. So, take all that with you will for a grain of salt. But yeah, so apparently Andrew was supposed to be fucking in Toby's place. Like, he was going to be fucking shot over as fucking the, the Spider-Man fucking whole deal. But, again, fucking shit went sideways, blah, blah, blah and they cast Toby. Or, it's not Toby, excuse me, Tom. Tom. I mean, Tom does a pretty good job as Spider-Man, because they basically get Peter Parker going through the high school thing, getting bit by the spider, becoming Spider-Man. Like, okay, that's great, great. Uh, Uncle Ben dying again. <laughs> well, he was dead already before the series even started. Yeah. Well, here's my favorite sure. part about all things. Is that, uh, you know, like, I like Tom. I think he's a good Spider-Man. But at the same time, fucking, like, he just kind of feels like he's going through the motions a lot of times, where he's like, and I get it, it's like, because of his fucking past fucking iterations where he's like spoiled shit by accident, or not accident, he's kind of an idiot sometimes on camera, unfortunately, they have to leave him in the dark, and like, a lot of his fucking scenes kind of like, they make it very clueless, and it's like, I don't, I never consider Spider-Man a clue. In fact, like, you know, Spider-Man is one of the most intelligent people in the MCU. Yep. And that, that's when my crux is, like, you know, Tom always, like, looks like he's, like, catching up to it on, like, the back foot. And, like, that's, that's not how I see Spider-Man. Yeah, because, like, Tom as a Spider-Man, Tom's Spider-Man is specifically, he's the dorky guy who just kind of can't get a break half the time. Right. Winner! Yeah, see, that's why I was like, I kind of hold, like, Andrew Spider-Man fucking superior in this regard, because, like, Andrew Spider-Man never felt like he was on the back foot. I'm true, like, but how many... Yeah, let's, let's not forget the, um, Into the Spider-Verse. They actually plan to want to continue something on with that with the second movie coming out next year? Whatever? Well, actually, it got broke up in the two movies, so... Oh, well, like, excuse me, then. Yeah. So there's going to be Across the Spider-Verse, and then something else. I don't oh. think they released the second title. Okay, so the likely chance of we getting Toby, Andrew, and Tom as a variation of Spider-Man in that movie is a possibility. Right, and they've already said there, and um, just from the trail alone, from Across the Spider-Verse... Uh, they already sit there and talk about the 2099 version. Miguel! Miguel. <laughs> Miguel, yes! But if you break down it scene by scene, which, uh, I'm a big Ready? fan of the Rockstars, I've been watching a lot of their stuff, they broke down the whole thing from the Across the Spider trailer, and it's like, yeah, it's like, they're impl implicating, like, so many fucking Spider-Man kind of thing. Oh, yeah, not to mention, um, Spider-Man's multiverse nonsense. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it literally just had, if you looked hard enough, ah, shit, I wasted the super. If you looked hard enough it, as the little gateways were opening, you could literally see twenty uh, Spider-Man 2099 in one of them. As well uh, as, there's, a, there's, there's a, lot. a lot of them were in there, like, you can see, uh, Rhino, well, Lizard was our, yeah, see a lot of people. A lot of them. Well, you're talking No Way Home, or you're talking fucking, um... That's yeah. Awesome. Well, no way, stuff. no way home, no way home. Okay, no way home. Okay. Yeah, because the little gates things that was Doctor Strange was like, oh, yeah, everything. The, the purple pairs. Yeah, because it had. If you looked hard enough, there's like various Spider-Man villains in, well, antagonists, okay. antagonists okay. in uh, allies. That's all I can say. Okay, I'm going to. I'm going to put a pin in it right fucking there. This is all speculative. And yeah, I'm, no. I'm not. I'm not saying I know, I you're know. not wrong, but it's oh. all speculation. That's that, what. I, that's. The, yeah. I, I was gonna get to that, but you kept me off. But yeah, but because with the the next Spider Verse movies, like I said, it runs the possibility of uh, the other three showing up as a Spider Man for that reason because oh, of. We're talking about Craven getting his own movie. Yeah, either his own movie or his own series as Craven the Hunter. 
to the one with the gas mask chick. Gas mask? What? Uh, gas mask chick. Oh, uh, reverse, yes. <laughs> yeah. The, uh... I know she's supposed to be fucking like you know the a threat. Boss. Well, yeah. no, she's a threat, <laughs> a half threat, but not the threat. Yeah, yeah apparently, like, yeah, but you know, she's supposed to be intimidating, but I'm not because I've seen Peter so many times. Grand, not on, like super high difficulty, but still. Not on the. I'm just cheesing my way through difficulty. Yeah, but yeah, you know, again, at least with like this chick, fucking like. At least she looks something was like, okay, no, I, I've seen her pancake you a few times, so. Yeah, me not getting a chance to stand up. <sighs> like, yeah, mm -hmm. get, like, pancake splat against the wall, pancake, like, don't move. Like, can I get a turn? No. Because <laughs> apparently with SNK, like, people say, like, oh, she's too, oh, she's too difficult. And then they, and then the next uh, update, like, they bumped up her difficulty. Doesn't matter what side, what difficulty you're on, she just is going to be hard. Period. Just, just rolled out the finger on you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, cool. She's too easy. Watch this. Like, oh no. Oh my beer. <laughs> Y'all talking shit. I'm like, alright, cool. I'm rolling in. Uh, dick swinging every which way. Hold these rocks. Mm -hmm. Dead. But yeah, Spider Man. Well, and like, they. Talked about, uh, I forget, I forget man, it's like, you know, they're, but they referenced the mid Middle Eastern Spider Man kind of thing, too. I mean, there's spider people all over the world by all accounts, because it's uh, basically it, Spider Family versus the Bat Family. Like, you, you get everyone I'm going around the world. That's exactly, that's that, that is a whole <laughs> argument there, because, like, hell, there's a. Do you want to talk about Spider Man versus the Ghost Family? Oh, God, that's another one. And you're talking about Spider-Man versus the Green, the Lantern Corps. That's his own can of worms. There, they fight amongst themselves, even if they are the same Lantern type. Ah, fuck. Well, the the Ghost Family fucking does the same thing. Yeah, so so does the Spy, uh, so does the Bat Family. Yeah, but the, the, I'd argue the Bat Family comes out for very different reasons. <laughs> It's more or less, oh, Bruce is not here. Who's in charge? Me. Me. No, me. I'm his yeah, actual exactly. biological son. Exactly. And? Like four people just raise their hand and say me. And who, and every time, every time they argue, he's like, oh, who's who's in charge now? Alfred. Alfred wins. Every time. I don't know why they argue. I feel like some of the cannibalations were like, they should bring up the idea that Alfred was, uh, Bruce was actual father. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's uh that's another can of worms over there. No, I, I know, I know. It, it, it's blasphemous in one hand and fucking like too good in the other hand kind of thing. Oh shit. Wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. But like in, in the broader concept, like, I can totally see it. Like legitimately. Got you stupid little bitch. Alright, now she's dead. Alright, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's Spider-Man literally all over the world and all across the multiverse. If you go that far, because mostly across the multiverse, but anyway. mostly across the multiverse, because there's about seven to twenty Spider people on any Earth, accordingly. Oh my God! Did I call it? Kukri, you little shit! Kukri, you little shit! <laughs>